Ah! <laughs> now roll it up. Dry salted seaweed. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm not the best spring roller. I love cilantro so much. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a what I eat in a day healthy version. Exams are coming up for me in two weeks and I thought it's a good idea to start preparing healthy eating now or else I'm gonna stress eat and that's going to eventually show on my face. If you guys wanna know what kind of food I like to eat that are healthy, just please keep on watching. Breakfast, we are going to be making something... I don't really have a name for this, because it's just one of those meals where you just kind of whip up everything you have in your house and you call it breakfast. I'm gonna be using sweet potato. In Korean, we call this kuguma. I'm gonna cut it into small little bite-sized pieces along with onion. So now that I have one sweet potato cut up, I'm gonna fry this in the frying pan. Cook it while I cut up a onion. In goes the onions. Pepper. Some sea salt. Now I'm gonna wash some cherry tomatoes. I'm just gonna take like a handful. Ah! They're all washed. Now carefully, without cutting your fingers off, make them into little smaller pieces. I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, but tomatoes are so good for you and it's so high in vitamins. I like to cut it up in small, small pieces. Take some cilantro. I love cilantro so much. Oh, the smell of cilantro. And then, I know it's kind of random, but I'm gonna put some salmon on top. This is the final result. Under the salmon, we have tomatoes, cilantro, onions, and sweet potato. Now, it wouldn't be a Michelle's meal if there was no sriracha sauce. The cilantro really just pulls it all together. I just came back from school and I'm really hungry. So we're gonna make something really delicious and actually no, you guys might not think it's good. You might think it's disgusting actually. A lot of Korean families, especially mine, we love eating steamed cabbage. We like eating it with this sauce called samjang. If you guys eat Korean barbecue, you know that uh, brown sauce that you eat with it? It's that. But yeah, I'm gonna make steamed cabbage and I'm gonna make a wrap with it. Usually I would eat it with like chicken breast, but because after I watched this whole like what the hell thing on Netflix, I am going to substitute it with tofu. And I might dip it in like sriracha sauce. Oh no, I'm gonna dip it in this sauce called chogochjang. It's like the sweet, spicy, tangy sauce. It's really good. Cabbage. This is really cheap, it's about like a dollar for this thing <laughs> and I put some water in the pot on the pot I have this net I'm gonna place the cabbage inside the pot close it off with the lid 
that's how you steam it. While that's steaming, I'm gonna cut up our main source of protein tofu. I just ran the cabbage in some cold water so it's not burning hot. And then the sauce that I'm going to be using is this. So we got the rice. Just to change it up a little bit, I'm gonna also eat the seaweed. So this is lunch. We have here tofu, cabbage, the spicy sauce, uh, multi-grain rice, and my favorite seaweed. Dip it in, ooh. Dip it in the sauce. Let's put some more sauce on that. This sauce is what makes it taste good. Yeah, roll it up, and that's your uh, cabbage wrap. I know a lot of Korean Americans, or actually just Koreans in general, know this. Just eating seaweed, rice, and and this chogucheong sauce, like that could be a meal itself. Like it's so good. A lot of kids grew up eating that like as a snack. Since eating the same thing for the whole meal is kind of boring, so I like to also add dry salted seaweed to kind of change it up a little bit. So you do the same thing. You just add the rice, you roll it up, dip it in the sauce. We're gonna make shrimp spring rolls today for dinner. I got some shrimp on the way home from school. These are about like six bucks. I know that looks really gross. Choice of vegetables, lettuce, bell peppers, and cucumbers. For the shrimp, I'm just gonna boil it. Shrimps are ready, and now I'm gonna peel everything. If you guys know what boiling crab is, <laughs> this is years of experience with peeling shrimp. This is the setup. Spring roll rice paper. I've got my vegetables, lettuce, bell pepper, cucumbers, shrimp, and then here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the same sauce I had for lunch. I'm gonna take the paper. Dip it in the water for a few seconds. Place it onto the big plate. That's a little bit better. Ta da! I'm gonna dip the spring roll into the sauce. Hmm. I'm not the best spring roller, but it sure does taste good though. And usually, spring rolls are served with some kind of peanut butter sauce, but I'm not a big fan of that, so I just like to use whatever I like. So that concludes what I eat in a day, a healthy version. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram at Michelle Choi with two eyes at the end. And you guys can watch me do lives because I'm doing Instagram lives more often and it's just so much fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. I just got a package of all these clothes that I ordered and I will have a haul video next. So I will see you guys soon. Bye!